So over the last lectures, we added the library to our setup. Now I want to add an icon because that is why we included the library, right? Adding an icon is super simple, but where can we add it? Maybe in a place detail. Let's say we don't want to have a delete button like this, but we want to create our own button which has this trash bin icon essentially. Now this button here can only be used with text, so I'm going to remove it. And instead I want to create my own icon and you'll learn that for this, we first of all need the touchable components. I'm going to use touchable opacity to make it transparent when we click on it. Then I'm going to add my touchable opacity component here. In there, I now want to use an icon, my trash bin icon. Since we just added React Native Vector items, I can now import icon from React Native Vector icons and then slash the font you want to use. So in my case, Ionican without TTF and it's Ionicans actually. So with that I get my icon. Now I want to use that in here. So I'm just going to use icon, self-closing tag. We can now add a size property and you can find more information about the usage in the official documentation if you scroll down. There you see the icon component. You can set the size, name and color. So size, maybe 30, let's see if that's fine. Now for the name, for that I have to go to the Ionicons page and search for trash here. Maybe use this one. So I'll copy iOS trash as the name. Simply add the name property here then, and it's just a string, iOS trash. And then finally, let's also add a color, maybe red. Now let's save all of that. And chances are your app is now broken because we added a new package and even added some native code. So a good fix then always is to quit the process running in your development window here in your JavaScript development process, quit that and rerun it with npm start or simply rerun npm Android to well basically also restart that. And I'm also going to rerun iOS to make sure that this is also rebuilt correctly thereafter. Now, these rebuilds may take a bit longer because you did edit the native code in the end. You added a package. So let's wait for it to finish. Android finished. Let me now rerun npm run iOS to also rebuild that with our new native code. And now both applications are running again. Let me now add a new place and open it here. And we see an icon. We should see it at least. And the same should also work on Android in case it's broken as it is here. Sometimes it is when you change the native code, simply kill it and restart the app. Or if it still fails, simply uninstall it and rebuild it again. After all of that, it should finally work there too. And this is really just because we added a package and then sometimes it just breaks. But there we can also see the trash bin. And I just temporarily quit React Native debugging tools because that also can sometimes block it. Simply feel free to restart them thereafter. You don't need to do that that often. Really just if you add such libraries, it can break your development process from time to time. But we're back up and running. We got our trash bin in there. We got our icon in there. Now, of course, we can improve the, the styling of that a little bit. Could center it. And for that, what we can do is can simply add a view to wrap our little icon here and give that icon, that view, its own style. Delete button maybe where we align items in the center. Let's now assign the delete button style to the view here. Style should be styles delete button. Save this file and this looks much better. Now hot reloading isn't turned on here on the Android simulator because I reloaded everything there. So that's why it didn't reload. But if I add Munich there again and open this here, it's now also centered. Now we got our buttons and we can click them. Nothing happens of course, but only because I didn't connect the click listener. So let's add on press to touchable opacity again, and then simply execute props on, what was it called? Item deleted. 
quickly check our app.js file on item deleted. So that's the property I want to execute here. So let me save this again. Now clicking that also closes it and deletes the item. And with that, we added our third party library hooking into native device features to the app.